didn't understand what real joy was until um, I got sober. Living with addiction was exhausting and overwhelming and it was really lonely. I used to spend all of my time and energy figuring out how I was gonna get myself to a place where I could drink and drug the way that I wanted to. Living in addiction also felt really empty. It felt like there was these holes in my soul that no matter how hard I tried to fill them up with drugs or alcohol or money or shopping, it was just never enough. My addiction definitely affected my family. It played a significant role in the deterioration of my marriage. My addiction ended up playing a role in uh, a custody battle for my children. And addiction, it kept me from, really from being able to show up for my sister as she walked through a pretty aggressive battle with cancer. One afternoon, when I'm sitting in my closet drinking, because that's what I did to keep it all together, and it hit me, I felt so helpless and I was so overwhelmed and I felt so trapped in my life that it hit me that, oh, oh this is how it happens. This is how you get to that place where you just give up and don't care anymore and you just completely give in to the addiction. That I had a choice to make, that I was either going to let drugs and alcohol destroy me and ultimately take my life, or I was gonna be the first woman in my family, really, to make a different choice. And so I made a different choice, and I decided it was time to get treatment. I really didn't know what to expect, but what I can tell you is I knew, I, I knew what I was afraid of. I knew what I was afraid treatment would be like. I was afraid that I was going to feel unsafe. I was nervous that I would feel trapped or isolated. But none of those things came to pass. I didn't choose inpatient treatment. Uh, inpatient treatment chose me. I had intended to, to go exclusively with outpatient treatment because at the time I had four young children at home and it didn't seem very realistic for me to just go away for a few weeks. Uh, but I went to the assessment for the outpatient treatment. I had some really encouraging conversations with uh, the medical staff and the clinical staff about how much I had been drinking and using and they recommended that uh, at the very least I do a medical detox and then make a decision and so I did that and I ended up staying for the full 30-day treatment program and probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. It's an excellent opportunity to let your body and mind heal in a safe setting uh, away from the stressors and triggers of your life or what's left of your life on the outside. It was probably the first time in my adult life where I could have fully open and honest conversations like with my peers, fellow patients, and with the staff here. This group of people started talking and opening up and sharing and being honest. And I had two thoughts. The first one was, oh my gosh, I'm not alone in, my, in the things that go through my head. There's, there's a whole group, and now I know a whole community of people out there that that have brains that are very similar to mine. Then there was laughter, 
and I think I belly laughed that first day in a way that I couldn't remember the last time I had genuinely just laughed. Treatment changed my life. Treatment really changed the way I look at the disease of addiction. Coming here helped me understand that our addictions and our behaviors therein are really just symptoms of something bigger going on inside of us. Coming to Journey Pure really helped me understand that there is a better way to live life. Coming to treatment helped me understand and, and be the, a better version of me, a healthier version of me. Life now has purpose. I didn't understand what real joy was until um, I got sober and, and really started engaging with the world around me. You are not alone. And that the shame and the weight of what you're walking around with in addiction doesn't have to be there. And it's that all of the hard stuff that we addicts spend so much time trying to avoid and redirect, um, that, it, that it won't kill you. That dealing with it and being brave and taking that next step to get help, that's hard, but it's the weight of it won't kill you. But the drugs and alcohol will. Family members can help by being supportive. As cliche as that sounds. <laughs> Family members can help by, by doing everything they can to not pass judgment or especially and add to the shame of, of getting help and starting a new way, starting a new chapter. Wonderful.